Namaste and good afternoon, everybody. Your Excellency Park Yong Sing, Korea Ambassador to Nepal, distinguished officials from Korean's SMA and startups agency, fellow business person from South Korea and Nepal, FNCCI Central Educated Members, women entrepreneurs from Nepal, Deputy Director General of FNCCI, and all the delegates, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank Korea SME and the Startups Agency for organizing this important meeting today. Nepal-Korea relationship is strengthened by exchange of high-level visits and further strengthened by the religious, cultural, trade and investment, tourism and people-to-people -people relations. Nepal is a landlord of rich natural resources and beauty. Nepal face new challenges. We lack competitive strength, investment capacity, and technology. Nepal is looking forward to have a sustainable growth by innovative investment in new energy, service industry, tourism, ICT, building of smart city, etc. FHCI is a national and international recognized umbrella organizer of business in Nepal. FNCCI has 105 district municipality labor chambers, 101 community associations, 951 leading public and private sector undertakings, and 20 by national chambers. FNCCI is respect, represented in almost all nations' councils, boards, committees, policy, advisory bodies concerned with business and industry. At FNCCI, we have the Women Entrepreneurs Development Committee, led by myself, from last nine years, which has been working hard for the development of women entrepreneurship by building the capacity of existing women entrepreneurs, as well as training new women entrepreneurs. By the trial, there is an immense potential of expanding trade and investment relation between the two countries. Bilateral trade between Nepal and Korea is still law. Nepal's exports to Korea in year 2016-17 was US 1.50 million, while Nepal imported goods amount to US 84.1 million, trade with 1 million in the same year. Therefore, Nepal has trade deficit in bi bilateral trade with Korea amounting to around US 82.6 million. To lessen, the, to lessen the trade deficit, we need support and cooperation from Korea government and business community. By increasing investment in Nepal through, through participate approach and at the same time promote Nepal's exports to Korea markets. Investment. Korea FDI is involved in total 334 joint venture projects in Nepal, amounting to total US 11.6 billion. The projects are in the following sectors service energy base, manufacturing, tourism, agro, and forestry base, and construction. In order of amount of FDI involved, service sector has been had the